Hey everybody, welcome to the Dana channel. I am Supreme Leader Snook. <laughs> and I'm back with more technically Rogue One just by the packaging. Action figures, it's not really Rogue One. I guess this would be Star Wars Rebels. Today we're going to be looking at the Seventh Sister Inquisitor and Darth Maul 3.75 inch, five points of articulation action figure. Now, the reason I said Star Wars Rogue One again is for the packaging. Only the packaging is Rogue One. It actually says Star Wars Rebels on the back. But to prove it to you, you know what we should do? Let's take a look at the outside of the box. All right, here's our Star Wars logo. Look, it's dusty. It's been sitting up on this shelf. Look at all those toys. Oh my goodness, so many videos to make. But it's been sitting up on that shelf collecting dust for a little while. So I figured, why not open it up? Let's do a review. Check out that artwork. Seven Sister Inquisitor. There's Darth Maul. The figures look pretty cool. We'll open them up in a second. I like it. It says, some assembly required. No tools needed. Disney Hasbro. If you're under three, don't put this thing up your nose. I can tell you, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I don't like the backpack on Darth Maul. I do like the Inquisitor Saber right behind you, though. That's pretty cool. But I think that's awful. I don't like that backpack. I think that's just the worst. Um, Studio Effects app. This is something you guys should download and then go back and rewatch all my video reviews from every single one of these toys. Because inside this package is a code that will unlock a different effect. And on every one of those other videos is a code that I put out on the screen for you guys to download for free. So it says code inside. So code also on all of my other videos. Alright guys, let's read the blurb. Seven Sister Inquisitor vs. Darth Maul vs. Darth Maul. Hmm, interesting. Driven by revenge against the Sith and consumed by a personal obsession to turn Ezra Bridger to the dark side, Darth Maul faces off against the Seven Sister Inquisitor, a cunning mastermind who uses a group of mimic droids to track down the rebels and capture Jedi. Awesome. Very nice. There's the app thing. And again, my favorite part. Sad Baby Squad. Zero to three sad babies. Approve of this here toy unless it's put up their nose. Let's do this. Let's get this thing open. Let's see what these figures got going on. I've had these sitting on the shelf for far too long. And I think it's time to do a review. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. Now, as I'm opening it, I will find an Amazon link and put it in the description box below. Also, as a pinned comment. And if any of you buy anything on Amazon, starting on one of my links in one of my videos, even if it's not the same toy that I'm linking, you can buy anything. Go buy GoPro, go buy whatever. Ooh, nice. A little catalog in here. Uh, whatever you buy, I will end up getting a percentage of. Say you spend $100, I might get $2, I might get $7. It's all over the place sometimes. But... I do get paid from it, so full disclosure, it's how I make money, it's how I support the channel on here. I also work a day job, but as far as the channel and buying toys, I use the Amazon money and also the money from the, when people let the ads play. I get money from that AdSense money every month, and I use that to purchase the toys, and that's how we keep the channel going. So if you want to support and you're an Amazon shopper, it's a perfect, easy way to support that doesn't cost you anything extra. Uh, if you're okay with stuff costing you extra, I sell t-shirts and hats through Spreadshirt. Again, links down in the description. This is a really cool catalog. Actually, I like this. I miss seeing stuff like this. When I was younger, I used to collect Jurassic Park toys, and they would always come with a catalog like this, too. And it would have Nerf, and it'd have Batman, and it'd have all the other Jurassic Park figures, and this seeing this kind of thing definitely takes me back. Uh, in fact, I want to show it to you. I want you guys to see what I'm looking at here so you can really tell. All right, guys, there it is. Look, Jin Erso with a Nerf gun. Blastered. They're not guns. They're blasters. Uh, Jin Erso with a Nerf blaster. There's a little catalog of all the different blasters that they came out with. Uh, even look, Blade Builders. There's a section for Blade Builders. There's a section for the effects masks that make noise and have voice changers. More Blade Builder stuff. See? Very cool. Very cool. And then the other side has even more. Look at that cool artwork right there. That's so... And then a whole thing about the Studio FX app. And there we go. Look. Oh. With my favorite toy. Seriously, I love that thing so much. It's really cool. It's Bluetooth. Uh, we got U-Wing, we have an A-Wing, we've got Striker. I have all of these toys except for this one. I don't own that. All the rest I own and I've done video reviews on. It, maybe not that BB-8. I don't think I have that BB-8. But all the rest I've got, even the Interactex, maybe not these four because I don't collect 12 inches. But I do have the Interactex, which I love the Interactex series. All right. Talked about that. Let's take a look at this Force Effects app. Is there a code in here? There's got to be a code somewhere. Probably right in the middle. There's your code. Pause the video. Get out your phone. Turn on the app. Scan this code. There you go. You get a free effect. I don't even know what it does. I'll have to scan it after the video and see how that goes. All right. 
All right, I, I just I really like these little catalogs. It's cool to see the artwork, to see all the little toys on there, see what else you could buy, what you need to add to your collection. That's what I would do when I was little. I would stare at those things for hours and be like, I wish I had a cool diorama set up like that. It was specifically Jurassic Park. I actually didn't collect Star Wars toys until I was a little bit older. I think I was like 7th grade or 8th grade. I was probably like 13, 12 or 13. And then I was like really into Star Wars. So I was a late bloomer. I didn't collect it when I was younger. I was more into dinosaurs and stuff like that. Still am. Speaking of dinosaurs, I'm going to review all those old toys because I never got rid of them. So expect some Jurassic Park reviews coming soon. I need to get the Exacto out because this thing is like on there. Sorry for the loud snapping noise. Oh yeah, there's more. She's like in there. They did not want her to pop out very easily. I like that it comes with Darth Maul's hood. Comes with her little face mask. Comes with a... Uh, is that a little baby spider droid? That's cool. Alright. Already I'm impressed. Um, I don't like the backpack, like I said before. I don't like the backpack. I do like these little gooey orange to red darts that they come with. They're so gooey. I'm impressed, though. I'm, I'm impressed. I like this. I, I, this is a good set already. I'm kind of bummed I didn't open it previously. But I'm going to want to make like a like a little diorama just of this set. Uh, I didn't realize Maul's lightsaber was, in fact, a double. I thought it was always a single. I don't remember him busting it out double. Maybe he did on that same episode of Rebels where he was trying to turn Ezra. Okay. I, that's, this, is, this, is, this is good. We're off to a good start. I like these figures. I'm going to put the little face mask on the uh, Inquisitor lady. It covers her entire face, which I don't... I don't love it, but it's, it's, it's okay. The seventh sister. I need to get the eighth brother or whatever. I need to get all the different Inquisitors now. Now that I have these, and I really like this. Just the detail on this spinning lightsaber. It's pretty incredible. Now, because she is a smaller and skinnier figure... Um, her hands are, re are really, like, weak. They don't hold on to this lightsaber very well. Her arms are so... Oh, my God. They're like little rubbery noodles. They are so super thin. Um, which, to me, that's that's a bummer. I don't like that. I wish they'd give her... I mean, I get why. I understand exactly why it's like that. But I don't I don't like it. Is that is that fair to say? I think... That's the nicest way I can put it. So I don't like it. I got my little spider droid. I do like they came with this tiny, itty bitty little spider droid. This backpack thing is it just irks me. I don't I don't think it's cool at all. I don't even think I'm gonna put it on Darth Maul. I know I should do like a thorough review of the toy, but I don't like it. I don't like seeing that at all. It just like why would Darth Maul ever have a backpack missile launcher? It's just, to me, that's... Nope. Nope. Don't like it. Alright, guys. Time for close-ups. Take a look at Maul. I put his hood on. There's his lightsaber. It looks good. I think it looks really good. His uh, markings all over him look really good, too. Really cool-looking figure. He's very skinny, though. Notice how skinny those little arms are. Like, see how thin the lightsaber is? And look at his arms. And look at her arms. Her arms are just as thick. Like, they're, like I said, tiny little, tiny, tiny little noodle arms. And she's barely holding on. She's not even holding on to that. It's just because the pressure of it being between her leg. And there's, look at that tiny little spider droid. They call them mimic droids. I like that it's included. I could probably put it on her shoulder. But there she is. She's wearing a mask. And that mask does come off. Let me see if I can get it off now that I've put this all together. There we go. You see her up close. Really detailed. It's got a little smile on there. Not the smile, but the mouth that you can see. I think she looks good. Again, see how like rubbery the arms are? They feel super rubbery. So, that's that. This is the giant backpack that Darth Maul comes with. And I'm not going to put it on him. I think it's just silly. I think Maul looks good as is. I understand why they did it. Because they're charging like 17 bucks for this two-pack of figures. And they want you to feel like you're getting your money's worth. And when you do that with two tiny little figures, you might feel like you're getting ripped off. And a lot of times they think, oh, kids want these things to uh, 
have actions and stuff. And they do. Kids do want action. And I agree with that philosophy. But will this thing even fire? Oh, that's how I fire it. Um, let me see if I can even fire this thing. You ready? Okay, it actually fires, so that's cool. It actually bounced back over next to me, which is kind of nice. One of them's still back there between... Is that Chirrut and uh, Diego Rivera? <laughs> so, overall, I think these are cool. I like the darts. Look at the details on her lightsaber. That's really cool sculpting. That is, like, that's top-notch. I love his lightsaber, too. It looks really good. And, like, just the markings on his arm. He looks good. There's a little face you can see it there. You can see his eyes, Maul's eyes. I think he looks great. Let me take his hood off so you guys can see without the hood. There's Maul without the hood. Again, good figure. I think he's awesome. Guys, I want to know your thoughts. Do you like these? Do you not like these? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Leave it down in the description box below. Do you have the Hasbro app? Have you downloaded all the effects now that they've been out for like a year? I'm... I, I like this set. I think it's a good set. I just don't... I don't love everything about it, which I think is fair. Um, I just... This whole thing. This whole backpack. Ugh, I just gotta roll my eyes and be like, really? Really? Little darts are gooey. See, I would like this maybe in a different toy line. I don't know. Those are my thoughts. Those are my thoughts. I want to know yours. Leave them down in the comments below. Make sure you thumbs up or thumbs down this video. I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to put this stinking thing on him. Let me take the lightsaber out of his hand. Ugh. I feel gross doing this just because this is just silly. I don't want to, like, let Hasbro know that this is okay to do. Don't do this again, Hasbro. Do not do this again. This is just so weird. Okay, let's... Um, you guys need to see it. I'm just going to show it to you. Here goes. There he is. Darth Maul in a weird, crazy, funky backpack. This is just the most ridiculous thing they've ever done. He would never... I feel like he would just never do that. So there you have it. Don't, don't rate it down just because of the backpack. Or do rate it down. But if you rate it down because of the backpack, you need to tell me why. You need to say in the description, I'm giving this a thumbs down because of the backpack. I will totally agree with you on that one. Guys... Again, I need your thoughts. I need to know what you think about this. Does the backpack make you that mad? It kind of does for me, but I like the set overall. Again, I'm kind of wishy-washy on this one, but I'm going to say I like it because I like the lightsabers. I like the figures. I like the other little accessories like the hood and the little shoulder droid thing you can put on there. And the mask. It's They're good figures. Pick them up if you can find them. I'll put a link down below to Amazon. I think that's what I've got for right now. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the Dano channel. Be part of the Dano channel family. Take it up a nudge and hit that little notification button. That way you're part of the notification squad, as some call it. I call it a sad baby squad. Represent, right? And that means you've not only subscribed, but you tickle that little notification button. You get notified every time I put out a brand new video. That way you don't miss anything. Also, guys, I want to include you in my videos. So hit me up on Twitter, at Dano Flores, or on Instagram, at Dano Flores. If you want to say the end of my video, the way I end the video is by saying, may the force have with you, like question mark, if you're asking a question, and goodbye forever. It's something I've been saying in videos for a long time, and I've explained it a bunch of times. But if you guys want to say that for me and send me a clip of it, I would love to put that at the end of my videos. I think I want to make that a thing. I keep pushing it, and I've gotten a couple here and there, but I want more. Email them to me if you have to. Danaflores at me.com is a good way. There's also like links and everything in every video telling you how to get a hold of me. So send me those clips. I want to put you in my video, fan art, your collection, whatever you're working on. Let's do it. Let's get this rolling. All right, guys, I think that's it. That's all I've got for now. You know I love you. Until next time, you know what we say. May the Force have with you. And goodbye forever. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you haven't already, subscribe. Join the Sad Baby Squad. Hit me up with your own clips, videos, whatever you guys are into. Fan artwork. I also have shirts and stuff available for sale. Hit those little links down below if you're at all interested. And that's it. Go watch another vid.